All right, so what we think we're going to do is run the boom sling harness from the ECU underneath this uh, front support, uh, similar to as a wiring harness would run in most cars. And we're going to put it somewhere in this area, that way it's both accessible, somewhat out of the weather, and uh, uh, we don't have to go through the nightmare of getting it inside the car. And we'll run it along the lower side of the radiator support. This will be good out of the way. Won't have any pinching or anything going on that's going to cause damage to it. Yeah, we want this to be as uh, weather free as possible. And under it. We'll probably take this light out too. It's just one screw holding it in. So. I feel like we might need to pull that out one more time. not getting pinched or rubbed. Put the fuse box cover and computer ECU cover to be able to run the wiring down in there. We have a grommet that we are going to put in there to seal it up. Okay, so we wired in our boom sling connectors. If you want to kind of show what we did. These are the connectors that come from the ECU right here that clip into here and this joins everything together very nicely. And so we had to kind of squish these wires, push these down into the box and lay these to the side to be able to fit the existing cover on it without having some kind of extension on it. And so we've cut the, the cover here to allow the wiring harness to fit through it and then we do have a, a, a grommet that we're going to put around that to seal it a little bit better. Okay, What I'm doing right now is just uh, putting the AEM oxygen sensor into the downpipe uh, for the Infinity system and this will run with a patch harness up to the Infinity ECU. This additional O2 sensor that I had welded in here, this one um, is going to work for the, uh, the gauge that I have inside of the car. So I'll show you that. All right, YouTube, just uh, like to show you guys, just finished up um, almost everything with the harness and getting the ECU in place and the sensors connected. So um, we'll show you that real quick. Um, so, as I showed you, we showed you previously, the boom sling harness is patched into the main ECU in here. Uh, we cut out this um, cover, this weatherproof cover to the ECU, and Dad just so happened to have a grommet that fit this nicely. And so he uh, put that in all nice and professional-like. We do have our uh, map sensor um, plugged into the intake manifold here. We've then routed the wiring loom down behind both of the headlights and literally this is the only place that the EC will really fit. It's not ideal um, but it's fairly out of weather and uh, in a good spot here. I probably won't be driving in the snow too much. Um, we then went ahead and routed the, um, the both uh, Lambda or air fuel as well as intake air temp sense wire now the other day I did have a uh, aluminum bung welded into the uh, intake here. Um, unfortunately I don't have video of that, um, but it made it really nice for the boom sling harness just to click right on in. 
Uh, then continued the lambda all the way back behind here and then down to the uh, um, O2 sensor to the air fuel safe or air fuel gauge fuel safe fail safe and then uh, we're gonna drill a hole right down in here so that that wire can uh, run from the oxygen sensor just right on up to the dash into our gauge. This is it. Very exciting. This is the 100% finished install, other than the two. Uh, let me just give you a quick, one, one last quick look before the two. Um, so you can see we have our boom slang harness neatly packaged in with the ECU harness. Our map sensor with boost reference to the intake manifold. Our boom slang harness neatly wrapped over to our finished and secured AEM Infinity. I do have it also setting on um, a piece of insulation, so it's uh, like carpet insulation, so it's nice and vibration free. We have our intake fully secured, our, all of our hosing, our intake coolant sensor. I have not connected the battery because they still need to upload software onto the AEM. Boost hosing, again, like I said, I've gone through and just double checked. It's all super tight. Everything is gravy. Inside is fully complete. All back together. Gauge looks nice. Um, I'm not going to power it up right now because I don't want to power put power to the infinity yet. Um, but it does say AEM when it starts off. It looks really cool. So, our next steps from here. Uh, really, it's just on to tuning. So, here, here it is. Tonight is Sunday night. Um, I am going to rent a trailer tomorrow, uh, Monday night. Have this thing loaded by Tuesday morning. I'm taking it to um, Cars Performance Tuesday morning. They're going to go ahead and start configuring the AEM. And then Wednesday morning, possibly Tuesday night, we're going to do our dyno tuning. So uh, hope to have that video out to you guys soon. I'm super excited. We are finished. Everything is done. Done, da, da, done, 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 done. Um, can't wait to see it. See you guys.